for the seventh example, this is another consolidated drained triaxial test problem. And for this example, you are given results of two drained triaxial tests on a saturated clay. So you're given sigma 3, which is the minor principal stress, and also it's the chamber pressure at failure, uh, 70 and 160. And for the, you are also given the debitor stress, delta sigma d at failure for both specimens. And you are asked to determine the shear strength parameters. And if you look at this more circle at failure, this, uh, there are two more circles, each uh, one for each specimen. And the uh, more coolant failure envelope is also given to you. So this is fitted to the two more circles at failure. So we notice that there is a C prime term, there's an intercept with the shear stress axis. So you can tell from this more coolant failure envelope, this is perhaps an over consolidated clay specimen. So you have a non zero C prime value. So this is most likely over consolidated clay sample. Over consolidated clay. So you have two strength parameters, two shear strength parameters to determine C prime and V prime. Okay. So first, for uh, to determine these two uh, shear strength parameters, we need two equations basically. And uh, so first, let's look at specimen number, uh, specimen number one here. Uh, the principal stress is at the failure. Sigma three prime is equal to sigma three. And this is 70 kilonewton per meter square. So this is given to you. So this is for drain, again, this is for drain the test. That's why you have the effective and the total stress being the same. And then the, uh, the major principal stress, sigma one prime equals to sigma one, equals to sigma three plus the debitor stress at failure. So this is 70 plus 130, and that's 200 kilonewton per meter square, or kPa. For specimen two here, again, uh, you're given minor principal stress, sigma three at failing, so 160 kilonewton per meter square. And the major principal stress, sigma one, is 160 plus 223.5, and that's 383.5 kilonewton per meter square. And then to solve for the two shear strength parameters, C prime and phi prime, uh, so basically you make use of that more coolant failure envelope uh, equation, which is tau f equals to C prime plus sigma prime tangent phi prime. And also you make use of the fact that the more coolant failure envelope is tangent to both more circles at failure. So then uh, you can derive the expressions for these two shear strength parameters. Uh, the details of this uh, derivation is given to you in the textbook. And the equations we're going to use are equation 12.25 and equation 12.26, which gives you the shear uh, the friction angle phi one prime and the cohesion term c prime. So notice here this friction angle is called phi one prime because this is uh, the over consolidation portion of that more coolant failure envelope. So phi one prime. If you substitute sigma one and sigma three prime from two specimens into this expression, you can get phi one prime of 20 degrees. And then the C prime value is 20 kilonewton per meter square. 